some boxes of various sizes and find out what's in them. I've got seven boxes to show you, and then I'll do a little bit of fabric smoothing to help you relax and fall asleep if you want to. We'll start with the smallest box, which is this little one made of paper, my favorite color. It says, Desert Dancer, which is the name of the shop where my cousin bought me a lovely pair of earrings. Let's remove the lid. Inside, we've got this worry stone. I'm not sure what kind of stone it is, but it's got an indentation that fits my thumb perfectly. Next box is made of metal. Here's another wooden box. This box originally contained tea drops, which were little pellets of various flavors of tea and sugar, crafted into whimsical shapes to be added to hot water. 
this one is made to be worn and was a gift from a good friend about 12 years ago. He told me recently that he got it to encourage my hippie tendencies and I'll tell you, it worked. sits on my desk. It's mostly rough and opaque, but this side is polished. It makes me think of a portal into some kind of a rose-colored world. This golden topped box is made of cardboard. Susanna Clark also wrote the book, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell, which is another of my favorite books. If you haven't had the chance to read these books, I highly recommend them.
not sure it's even fitting in the frame here. It's another one that looks like a chocolate box, but actually held a makeup gift set. of mine is a fabric artist who makes quilts and other practical goods, but she elevates them to an art form. This background fabric is actually the reverse side of a quilt she made. I don't know whether you can see the intricate stitching here. you the very best. <laughs>